I'm sure you've heard of the cash envelope budgeting system. It's where you create a budget and you determine how much you're going to spend in each category. You then cash your check and you put the predetermined amount of cash into the appropriate envelope. So for example, you might have an envelope for rent, an envelope for utilities, an envelope for groceries, and so on. The premise here is once you spend all the money in an envelope, you have no more money to spend. Therefore, you're really sticking to your budget. It also allows you to know where every penny of your money is going because you've predetermined where you're going to spend it. I use a similar concept for my business, but instead of using cash envelopes, I use separate bank accounts. I'm able to do this because I use Relay for my business banking and they give me up to 20 individual accounts. Now I don't pay any extra fees for these accounts, so no extra monthly fees, so I'm able to do this without it costing me any extra money. I also have my Relay account connected to my QuickBooks account to make it easy for me to do the accounting part of my business. And this is not the part of my business that I enjoy, so the easier it is to get that done, the better. Leave me a comment if you want me to do a video on how I manage my business in QuickBooks. I'd like to give a special thanks to Relay for sponsoring this video. When you're trying to figure out how many bank accounts you need, you need to start with figuring out the type of business you have. For example, if you have an online boutique and you bring in about $10,000 a month in revenue, you could use these categories. Payroll, inventory, internet and utilities, software expenses, a business loan, and taxes. And then you can break your budget down like this. You have $4,500 in your payroll account, $3,200 allocated to inventory, $100 in your internet and utility account, $200 for software expenses, another $500 to set aside to pay back your loan, and $1,500 put away for tax season. My account setup is a work in progress, but let me explain my current setup. I have three Etsy shops. Two of those shops sell physical products and one sells digital downloads. I also have two Shopify stores. And right now I have four contractors that help me get out my apparel and my DTF transfers. So here's a breakdown of my 10 business checking accounts. I have a separate account for deposits that come in for each one of my Etsy shops. So that's three accounts. I have separate accounts for the deposits that come in from each one of my Shopify stores. So that's two more accounts, so now we're at five checking accounts. Separating my income this way allows me to easily see what's coming in from my different income streams. I can easily see if any of my shops is struggling and needs my help. Okay, let's keep going. We're at five accounts. Next we have my general business account. And this is for my regular business transactions and income from things like YouTube, my blog, sponsorships, or affiliate income. And this makes account number six. And then we move to my operating expenses account. And this is the account where I pay all of the expenses related to running my business. So things like software expenses or subscriptions, and I do have a lot of subscriptions to run my business. Any of those type of things will come out of this account. So any expense that's not related to making apparel, and that falls into my next account, which is my COGS account. And that stands for a cost of goods sold. So from my COGS account, I pull out any expenses related to making my apparel. So the blanks that I use, the vinyl that I use, or any other material that I'm gonna to use to make something that I'm gonna sell. I have two contractors that have debit cards connected to my COGS account. And this allows them to purchase inventory and things like vinyl, or to run out and pick up anything that we need spur of the moment and they don't need me. Relay allows me to give them debit cards and control how much money that they spend on those debit cards, so I'm not worried about them spending too much money from my COGS account. Okay, so let's not lose track. We're now on account number eight, and that's my COGS account. Next, we have my payroll account, which will be account number nine, and I use that to pay both my contractors and myself. And then account number 10 is that good old taxes account. And this is where I take 15% of what I bring in every month, and I put that in my taxes account so I am not scrambling for money during tax time. So those are my 10 accounts. 
And again, my system is a work in progress that I'm designing to work for me. I want to design a system that's going to allow me to easy manage my cash flow every day and allow me to keep track of my accounting system so I don't have tons of work to do in January when it's time to have my taxes done. What I like to do is reevaluate the system every few months and make changes to make things flow better. So in no way am I saying that this is how you should set up your business. This is just an example of how my business is set up based on the income and expenses that I have. Now, let me show you how I move money between my different accounts in Relay. I'm going to use a demo account so I don't have to hide my account information. Okay, I'm logged into my Relay demo account, and this is a demo account for a stationary business. Let's stop for a quick second and look at how they have their accounts set up. Just an example to show you that there are different ways that you can set up your multiple accounts. So in here, you can see that they have accounts set up for different projects, as well as a payroll account, an operating account, an account for deposits only, marketing expenses, travel expenses, that infamous tax account, which we all should have, and then they have an owner pay account. So just another example of how you can set up your accounts based on the type of business that you have. If you want to add an account, you can do that by simply clicking on this add account button and giving that account a nickname. And then you'll just hit the create button and you'll have a new account. But what I really wanted to show you here is how you can move money in Relay between your different accounts. So I am right now on the accounts tab and I'm going to go up here to this move money button and click on that. Then I'm on a screen where you can move money from one account to another. And see here, I'm going to first start off with the account that I want to move money from. And for me, this could be any of my deposit accounts, or it could be me moving money from my general business account in the COGS or vice versa. The idea here is similar to envelope budgeting. You're basically managing your budget like the example we looked at earlier. So let's go here and we're just going to pick an account that we're going to move money from. So let's move money from the operating account. So I'm just going to click on that account. I'm going to scroll down and then I get to the transfer details section. And this is where I'm going to select the accounts that I want to move money to. So I'm going to click on this button that says add account to transfer to. And then I see a listing of the available accounts. So let's say I want to move money to my marketing expenses, and then I can choose another account. And here's where the magic happens in Relay. I can click another account. And let's say I need to move some money over to payroll as well. And this is something that I'm doing monthly in this example. And let's say I want to move money to my tax account as well. Right, so I have three accounts here. So if I scroll back up, you can see now I have options to where I can move a specific dollar amount to these accounts, or I can move money based on percentages, which is really cool. So I'm going to click on the percentages. And now it's asking me the total amount of money that I want to move. And let's say to make math easy, I'm going to move $1,000, right? And if I was doing this monthly, it'd probably be a lot more than $1,000, but let's just go with that here, right? So I want to move $1,000. Now, all I have to do is say in what percentages I want to move that money. So let's say my tax, I know I want to move 15%. And then it says, please make sure your total percentage add up to 100. So then let's say now I want to move 20, let's say 30% to payroll. And then I need to make up the additional percentage for marketing. And so I'm going to move an additional 55% to marketing. So now you can see that my percentages total up to be 100%. And it also shows you the amount of money that equals. So 55% of that $1,000 is $550. 30% is $300. 15% is $150.
And you can also see here is if I change that to then $10,000, then the amount in my percentages change. So you can do this on a reoccurring basis every month or every two weeks and allocate money to your different accounts based on percentage amounts. So I'm gonna scroll down and as we see the total money to be transferred and then we can pick a frequency. So we can do a one-time transfer or we can do a recurring transfer, but we wanna automate our business. So we're gonna do a recurring transfer. We now have it set to recurring transfer and we can choose our start date. And we're just gonna choose today's date. And then we can choose the frequency. And we have a number of options here. Weekly, every two weeks, twice monthly, monthly or quarterly. So you have a lot of options with the frequencies that you want to do your transfers in from your accounts. And for this one, we're just gonna set it to monthly. And then you can put in the days. So the first day of the month, the last day of the month, or you can select another day. And let's just say the first day of the month. And then you can set when it ends. So never ends, ends after a date, or ends after a number of transfers. So for our example, we're gonna put never ends. And if you scroll down, the system is gonna tell you the next five transfers. So based on how we've set it up, we'll have a transfer that occurs on January 1st, February 1st, March 1st, April 1st, and May 1st. And those are just the first five of the never ending transfers that we've set up. And then you would hit next to confirm your transfer details. And I'm not gonna do that because I don't want the system to actually set this up, but this just gives you an idea of how you can move money between your different accounts. So for me, I would move money on a monthly basis into my tax account. I might move money on a weekly basis into my different payroll accounts. And I might have some money transfers that I might set up every two weeks, depending on how my expenses work. So I'll be moving money from my different deposit accounts into maybe my operating expenses account or into my payroll account. So I have a lot of options on how I can move money, but Relay will help me automate that. So I just wanted to show you how you can move money from your different Relay accounts because you might have been thinking that if I have all of these different accounts, then it's gonna be time consuming or hard for me to move money. And Relay has made it to where it's really easy for you to move money between accounts. Depending on how your business is set up, you might not need 10 accounts. By having the option to manage your business cash flow, similar to how you might manage your personal budget, is a big help. Now I'm gonna get back to taking down this Christmas tree, but you should watch this video right here because it's gonna tell you more about Relay and how you can get your own account.